Hello, everyone. This is uh, the Tiger Financial News Network, 11 a.m. Stock market update. Dow's up 537 points at 34,954 on this Thursday, uh, October the 7th. We're bumping into what we call the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone right there. And because of that, it says if there is a reversal, let's just imagine that there's this candle. So far, it looks like a Marabuza candle with no, no wicks at this point. If there is a candle and then there's a doji candle tomorrow, sign a little plus sign looking candle and then a reversal on Monday, that says you've got the lowercase h that's going to a lowercase m. If there is a big move, not just today, but tomorrow that continues above the 35,061 high in the Dow that was made on the 27th of September. That starts leg C, and that becomes at least a short-term positive, especially if the nine period finally crosses over the 14. Looking at the S&P right now, let's just run these quickly. It's right in the inside track. It's at 44.27. I gapped up, and it's up 63 at 44.27. I move into the 44. 51 area between uh, uh, today and tomorrow would be very impressive. And we're looking at the QQQ, one, two, three, there it goes. The QQQ is up also quite nicely, up 560 at 365. It's got a long way to go. It's in a rebound. I think that the uh, NDX 100 trading vehicle uh, QQQs, I think it needs a little more time to consolidate, maybe another couple of weeks. Um, I'm not sure yet, but that's where it looks. Up 420 on the IWM, the Russell 2000, a good re a rebound. Mm, not bad. Gold is trying to rally here. It's struggling. It's down three at 1758. You just can't get gusto to move into the 1770s, although the GDX is having a much nicer day. Than, it's good that the market vectors, gold miners, is moving. Uh, the dollar is acting quite nicely. Yeah, it's holding well. It's down nine ticks, but it's up in the higher range. Crude oil finally pulled back a little bit. Oh, it's coming back. It's actually up 42 cents. It just doesn't give up. And wow, those, those oil, the, the gas prices are really moving high. And the TLT made a lower low. Got to be real careful. And I believe, let's see, are we in? Yeah, 143.06 down $1.33 in the uh, TLT. So with that said, this is a market that is news-based. You can see every single day this week, we've had four, 500 points up and down and up and down. Let's see what happens here. You can, I gave you the parameters to look at the upside. Any reversal today, if the Dow gives back over 180 points by the close, that's going to say, uh-oh, stuck in the range. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for Larry Pesavanto and great programming coming up all day. I'll be back tomorrow, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for being here.